Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Disease. Now this is a fantastic plugin with so many different features and mechanics that allows your players to protect themselves from diseases, contact diseases and get broken legs and such. So first of all I think I'm going to go through the two different regions. So you can create a heal region and an immunity region. So what we need to do is whip out our axe, our world edit axe, and we're going to select a region. I'm going to make this uh, region over the tent and what it's going to be is the heal region so what we need to do is uh, do region define and then heal like that and then if we do region flag heal and the uh, the flag is lightning as I've put there lightning and that needs to be allow so this will be a heal region so if players go in there they will be able to heal themselves uh, same goes for the immunity region which is soil hyphen dry like that so uh, now that that's been covered, we can move on to the temperature feature. Now this is really cool, it allows your players to have different temperatures and if your temperature goes too high or too low you might get blindness, pneumonia or some other effects. So what we need to do is grab some milk and stick it in a furnace. Now what this will give us is some boiling milk. Now boiling milk, as the name would suggest, is very hot and this will warm us up. You can also warm up by going in front of a fire, pit of lava, torch, that sort of thing. Um, so we've had a few um, sips of that and hopefully our temperature will have increased to 18 degrees there. Now if you're too hot you can grab a water bottle and a snowball and if we craft this together we will get a freezing bottle of water and that will obviously cool us down um, which is pretty cool. Now when it comes to diseases there is a whole range of diseases so if we do disease and then help if I can type correctly um, we can actually do disease list and this will show us all of these awful, awful diseases that you don't really want to get. So there's pneumonia, if you get too cold there's the plague, uh, there is an arrow wound, there's uh, various other different wounds, cholera if you drink uh, dirty water, swamp fever, yellow fever, whooping cough, pox, rabies uh, and lots of other things. So you can get them in different ways um, but you can protect yourselves from them if you create a vaccine. So there is a variety of different recipes to, um, to, cure, um, to make the cure. So what we need to do is grab a recipe. I'm going to grab the bitter wart, which is the plague. And if we grab this, and then we need to create uh, a syringe. So if you grab a syringe and you grab a cure, pop this into a crafting bench like so, um, one of each, and that will create a plague vaccine so if you remember going to the doctors to get a, uh, a needle shot of vaccine to protect yourself against diseases it works the same in Minecraft like that and that will protect us from um, the plague if we were to ever get that. Now you can use um, commands to give yourself an infection or a cure or a remedy for that matter so we are going to infect ourselves with uh, the plague maybe there we go so we have the plague now and if you get a disease you will have a variety of effects over time um, but if we grab the cure which is here we will be uh, rid of the plague so there we go like that or we could just use a command to cure ourselves from it if we really wanted to um, so if we go disease and then immunity this will show us that we have zero immunity against all of these but if we were to take that injection we would obviously have a higher number here for the plague so that is a really cool uh, mechanic that's in the uh, in the game. So temp details, this will show us um, a better explanation of all the temperature. So we can get temperature from wearing armor, from various heat sources that we're holding, and from having a storm or something. So that's really awesome. Uh, if we were to put on armor, let's have a look at that. So stick on some diamond armor and see if our temperature actually goes up over time. So we can check that a bit later. Another awesome way of protecting yourself from a disease is creating a doctor's sign. This is very easy. You do square bracket doctor on the second line, end with a square bracket, and that will create a doctor's sign. And you can configure a cost in the config file as well for that, which is awesome. Um, so we have a couple of other items down here. We have a splint, which will um, stop yourself from uh, having a broken leg, and that's how you um, have it. And you can protect yourself from cuts or wounds by creating a bandage like so. Um, so that is most of the items. Let's have a look at our temperature now. Uh, let me see, temperature details. So armor, nine degrees. So we're getting much, much hotter now uh, because we're wearing armor 
and obviously if we were in a storm or in water we would lose a lot of that uh, heat. So that is most of the things in game I believe. So we've gone through uh, the remedies, the, the cures, the infections and the items. So it's a really cool plugin. Um, you can look at the information of a various disease. So let's look at the plague. So it says how it's caught, uh, the effects of it. Uh, is it contagious? Well yes it is. As you remember the Black Plague um, a long time ago that um, killed lots of people because it was contagious. And the cure is bitter wart medicine. And if you click that it will uh, show you information about the remedy. And how do you craft it? Well you need a mixed dead bush, ink, coal, in a water bottle and it uh, instantly cures yourself if you were to get that. So that is everything in game. We are going to go into the config file now and uh, see what we can do in there. You can change a lot of things. So here we are in the disease folder and as you can see there are two YML files and a file for all the players. So this will give you information about the players, their temperature, um, what diseases they have and their immunity. So obviously we are not immune to everything which you saw in game. And if we go back to the main config file, this is where um, you can customize lots of different things. So you can have a scoreboard if you want. Scoreboard stats would be really awesome. That would show you your temperature and whatnot. You can enable it in specific worlds, which is very useful. And the time between each disease check in ticks. And obviously, if you didn't know, there are 20 ticks in one second. Then we have uh, the temperature levels at which various things happen. So if you are minus 40, you'll be very, very cold. Uh, warm is 40 degrees so we were about 10 to 18 degrees which is pretty reasonable to be honest and if we went all the way down to minus 80 we were very very cold and almost dead to be honest and then we have the sickness levels as well you can change all of these values if you want and the infection charts so as you can see uh, some of them are very very high 150 percent chance if you get an arrow wound uh, you'd need a bandage to protect yourself from that but Swamp Fever is pretty low at 36. So you can change all of these just to uh, make your server more harder or easier, depending on that. Uh, the Doctor's Sign, as you can see, you could be fined for dying with the disease, which is interesting. Um, you can pay 100 to fix yourself with the Doctor's Sign, uh, which is pretty cool. And down here, I don't know where it is, Cure on Death. So um, that's an interesting feature. If you wanted to be cruel to your players, you would set that to false. So... Uh, they would die and they'd wake up with a yellow fever or something. Chance of choking. Now, I didn't cover this in game, but if you eat any of these items, for example, 260, that's an apple, uh, you have a chance to choke to death on it, which is, uh, which is pretty awful, actually, but uh, hilarious that the developer has included it. Temperature system. Now, this is um, one of my favorite parts of the plugin. As you can see, um, you can change how much everything um, affects your temperature, whether it goes up or down, which is awesome and how much heat does. So fire, if you're next to fire, you will generate a lot of heat, whereas a jack-o'-lantern will not do too much. So if we scroll up to the broken leg chance, this would mean we would have to make a splint, as I showed you in-game. If we were to jump off a ledge or a cliff, we would have a 15% chance to break our leg. And um, we have a 15% chance as well of cutting your hand and uh, punching a block with no tool. So it's very interesting, uh, this plugin, how many different uh, mechanics it's got. Uh, it's really awesome, it makes Minecraft a lot harder, adds a lot of in-depth information to it uh, that your players can learn and master. But overall, it's a fantastic plugin. It's free, which is really awesome as well. And uh, it's just got so many cool features. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.